Hello, this is Rishu. Today we're going to be talking about a really interesting topic that is intrusions and how we can use intrusions like a native speaker. Before we start this video, I'm going to ask you a question. What is the official language of the USA? I'm going to give you the answer at the end of this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is an intrusion? Intrusion is one of the subtopics of connected speech. An intrusion basically means an additional sound that occurs between two vowel sounds so that the pronunciation can glide through the mouth. So there are three different types of intrusion sounds. Number one is yeah, yeah. Number two, wa, wa. And number three is r, r. Let's talk about rules. So we add a y sound within two vowels whenever a word ends in e or e sound. So whenever a word ends in these sounds such as e, a, i, oi, and then it is followed by another vowel sound, we put a y sound in the middle of these two words so that we can glide through smoothly. Basically we do that so that we there's a smooth transition between two vowel sounds. For example, if I say I ate, now I ends in a vowel sound and ate starting with another vowel sound. In order to have a smooth transition between two vowel sounds, we will add a y sound because the ending sound of the first word is I, E sound, right? So I will say I ate adding a ya sound in the middle of these two words i will say i ate i ate i ate similarly if i say he is now he ends in a long e vowel sound and is also starting with another vowel sound in order to glide through smoothly we will say he is he is he is. So you see, I add a ya sound, short ya sound in the middle of these two vowel sounds. This ya sound is also applicable to any word. For example, I say seeing. Now, seeing is made up of two syllables, means see ing. Now, because if we break this word into two syllables, see is a separate syllable and ing. Is a separate syllable so C is ending in a vowel sound and ing is starting with another vowel sound so I will say seeing seeing so you can notice that I have put a little ya sound in the middle of these two syllables I will say seeing seeing in the same way we also put a wa sound in the middle of two vowel sound so if a word ends in u or u sound and then it is followed by another vowel sound we put a w sound so if a word is ending in any of these vowel sounds such as u ow oh and then it is followed by another vowel sound we basically put a w sound in the middle of these two vowel sounds now let's look at some examples if i have to say these two words go over now you can see that go the word go is ending in o sound and also the second sound a second word is starting with o sound go over so in order to have a smooth transition between two vowels we'll add a w sound in the middle of these two words so i will say go over go over you can see i'm adding a short what sound and I will say go over go over similarly if I have to say how are you so you see the first word how ending in ow sound and the second word starting with another vowel sound ah right so in order to glide smoothly I will say how are you how are you how are you 
this was sound is also applicable to any word so for example if i say doing so you see doing is made up of two syllables do ing now if we break down these two syllables into two parts do ending in u and wing starting with another vowel sound so i will say doing i will add a w sound between do and ing two syllables and i will say doing 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 now let's talk about the last sound that is intrusion r when do we put intrusion r so whenever there are two vowel sounds and the first vowel sound or the first word ends in a vowel sound such as a ear ah oh and then it is followed by another vowel sound then we put a little intrusion ah for example if i say the idea of it the idea of it now you see the word idea ending in a vowel sound that is ah ah vowel sound right and of starting with another vowel sound that is o o so in order to glide these two vowel sounds smoothly and have a smooth transition we will say the idea of it so i'll put an intrusive r between these two vowel sounds and i will say the idea of it the idea of it the idea of it so you see i'm putting a intrusive r between these two vowel sounds now this feature of intrusive r is not so common nowadays especially in recent communication and it is mostly present in non rhotic accents or pronunciation what is a non rhotic accent a british accent australian accent or new zealander accent these are called as non rhotic accent because there's no r sound in most of the words for example if i have to say father mother brother you see i'm not pronouncing the r sound clearly at the end of the word so this accent is called a non rhotic accent however american accent or canadian accent is a rhotic accent in that we pronounce r sound clearly so if i have to say mother brother sister so see you, you can see that i'm pronouncing the r sound clearly so that's why these kinds of accent are called rhotic accent of pronunciation so that's why there's a difference between non rhotic and rhotic accent so intrusive r is only present in non rhotic accent which is nowadays not so common and very few people nowadays speak intrusive r use intrusive r in their daily communication and an american accent is not present at all and if i say the father is the father is so you you can see i'm, I'm going to link these two words father is father is so this is not intrusive r this is basically linking r right now non rhotic accent whenever a word ending in r and the next sound is a vowel sound we basically pronounce that r sound of course if you speak an american accent you don't have to worry about rhotic or non rhotic but if you are speaking in british or australian accent then if the next sound is a vowel sound you have to pronounce r sound the father but if i add is after father is i will say the father is the father is so this is the feature of linking r not intrusive r also i have a video about linking sound so if you haven't checked out that video as well you can actually click on the top right corner of this video click on that link and you can actually check the part 1 of connected speech which is which is about linking sounds in english now let's try practicing some of the sentences and try to use some of the intrusive sounds in order to use them between two vowel sounds and have a smooth transition while speaking a sentence let's start with number 1 We ate it. We ate it. Number two. Go on. Go on. Number three. 
they allow it they allow it number four you know it you know it number five may i go now may i go now number six that's so amazing that's so amazing number seven we'll buy it we'll buy it number eight she ate out she ate out number nine i saw an apple on the tree i saw an apple on the tree number ten the law and order is bad the law and order is bad so in this way you can use all these intrusive sounds and speak like a native speaker so an intrusive sound really helps you to glide smoothly between two vowels and make you fluent so you can use ya and wa these are two common intrusive sound you can avoid using ra intrusive sound because which is it's not so common to use but if you can use that that's all right otherwise good for your listening so if you see some nighty speaker using these intrusive sound you can understand them clearly also in the start of this video i asked a question that what is the official language of the usa so the correct answer is there's no official language in the usa so english is commonly used and english is considered as one of the national languages in the usa however english is spoken by almost 78 percent of the people and 13.4 percent of the population speak spanish language and other people speak different languages. so there's no official language in the usa english is a national language and it is used by the majority of the people all right, that's all for today. I hope to see you next time and goodbye. Have fun.